This morning, music Tyler Ackes and our Space Science moderator was up very early and headed out to the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Let's join us ever now, and the phone is the thing that we're doing now as we connect, and what's happening? Thank you, Greg. Yes, a very early morning, but yet nonetheless a very exciting morning out here at Cape Canaveral Air Station for the launch of the Atlas II this morning. Well, everything is still go for the liftoff this morning, but the question is when. Right now we're at T-minus five minutes in holding, and we've been in this hole for the past uh, five to six minutes. Now, right now, a few issues have come up uh, due to this launch. Uh, right now, the range or the uh, launch area is in red, meaning that uh, there's a possible aircraft report that uh, could affect the launch or delay it. Uh, right now, the range is red due to a possible aircraft in the area. Also, they're looking at a thing called the POGO system, which is on the Atlas vehicle, that uh, is showing some spikes. Now, we're get, trying to get more information right now. Uh, the Launch Control Center is studying this issue and seeing what might be coming up upon this. Uh, but as, is, as we speak right now, they're still targeting launch at 8.27 a.m., just about nine and a half minutes from now. Now, liftoff will occur uh, with the Atlas II rocket, Lockheed Martin's uh, own personal little baby there. And liftoff uh, set again for 8.27 a.m. from Complex 36A here at Cape Canaveral Air Station. It'll be launching a UFO, what's known as the UHF follow-on, or UFO, satellite known as F-7. This will be the seventh in the series of uh, UHF follow-ons. Now, this satellite will uh, be placed into a 27-degree uh, inclination once it's launched, and it should have a 14-year lifetime uh, uh, once on orbit. It'll be replacing a Navy fleet sat satellite over the Atlantic Ocean. So right now we're at T-minus five minutes in holding, looking for a liftoff uh, still at 8.27 a.m. of the Atlas II vehicle here from Cape Canaveral Air Station. If you want to view the launch, uh, probably the best bet would be coming down to Jetty Park here uh, in the uh, Port Canaveral area. Uh, if you're going to be watching it from Titusville, it's really not the best spot because you're going to have the sun visibility that's really going to uh, affect the visibility of the vehicle once it launches. You won't see the, have the best particular site. So if you're able to get down in the next few minutes to Jetty Park, that's about your best viewing site. So, Greg, we're going to wrap things up for now. Again, we're uh, red due to the range. Also, uh, they're looking at a pogo system on the Atlas, but uh, we're at T-minus five minutes in holding, and uh, we'll let you know uh, in the next few minutes any updates that we get. Tyler Axon reporting live from Cape Canaveral Air Station for KSC up to the minute and WAMT 1060 AM. Good thing there's a launch window of two hours. Looks like two we hour may need window, it. exactly. Yeah, thanks. Okay. That's Ty Ackeson live from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. We're on with music on the morning show here, 1060. Good morning. Welcome aboard. Your kind of hits, the stylistics. Hey, what's the story? Good morning, Greg. Uh, delay in the Atlas II liftoff this morning. KSC up to special report. Tyler Ackeson from Cape Canaveral Air Station. Well, uh, the Atlas II was set to lift off this morning at 8.27 a.m., but uh, d a delay due to a range issue and uh, a suspected leak in the POCO system on the Atlas vehicle has delayed the liftoff until a new T-0 time of 8.42 a.m. this morning. So uh, we'll keep you updated as things go. Right now, they're looking at a boat that's in the uh, range area, and that's what put the, that's what's uh, helping put this uh, launch on a delay right now. Again, liftoff is set now currently for 8.42 a.m. They're at T-minus five minutes and holding. Also, uh, along with that range issue, is a suspected leak in the POGO system on the Atlas vehicle itself. So uh, we'll keep you updated as things progress. Uh, this is scheduled to be the fourth of seven missions for Atlas in 1996. And once the satellite launch, it's scheduled to be over the Atlantic Ocean, uh, bringing video and data relay for the next 14 years. We'll keep you updated as things go. And again, once again, 8.42 uh, a.m. is the new launch time. And uh, that changes. We'll be on the air bringing you the very latest right here. I'm Tyler Axon at Cape Canaveral Air Station for WAMT, 1060 AM. Once again, thank you, Ty. Ty at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, as aforementioned, with the coverage all morning long up until the end of the launch window. We hope they get that thing off. It should be a beautiful morning weather-wise for the liftoff of the big Atlas. We're uh, just a little less than two minutes away from launch. The uh, Centaur has just gone to internal power. That is the upper stage of the vehicle. The uh, flight termination system has also been armed at this time. We are coming up on one minute and 30 seconds away from liftoff of the Atlas II. It's a beautiful day out here. Sunrise, uh, sun's positioned right over the, the uh, launch complex 36A and the Atlas II where it stands passively for launch at 8.42 this morning. We're a minute 20 away from liftoff. Good weather is in the area for uh, the liftoff of the Atlas II this morning. And we'll be standing by for a final poll here in the next uh, few seconds here. And we're coming up on one minute remaining in this countdown to launch. T-minus one minute and counting. And the engine's ready indication has been given on the Atlas vehicle. 
This will be the 535th Atlas launch in the program's history. And a final poll is being given right now. And everything is go for launch. The final poll of the countdown has been given. Just about 34 seconds away from launch. And we have a go for launch sequence start. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. Everything is go. Atlas 2 standing by passively at Launch Complex 36A at Cape Canaveral Air Station. And we're standing by for the final seconds. 15 seconds to lift off. Coming up on the final count, T minus 10. Nine. And we have a go for main engine ignition, and we have ignition of the engine and lift off of the Atlas II, and the Atlas II is now clearing the tower. It's a beautiful lift off here from Cape Canaveral Air Station, carrying the UHF follow-on F-7 satellite, a replacement for the aging satellite over the Atlantic Ocean. And the vehicle is climbing straight up, and we're about to get the vibration from as it goes supersonic. And we just got a good, everything is looking good. The engines are continuing to burn well, reports Launch Control Center here at Cape Canaveral Air Station. And it's heading straight up towards the sun in a perspective view. Looking east, it's uh, just above the sun now where we can see a, a matchlit flame beneath the uh, Atlas II vehicle as it climbs straight up. It's now seven nautical miles in altitude. Vehicle climbing straight up, everything looking good. The Atlas II lifting off this morning on time at 8.42 a.m. The engines are burning well, reports Launch Control Center. We're now about 80 seconds into the mission. It's now five nautical miles downrange. Vehicle uh, climbs straight up and is heading eastward. It'll go uh, put the satellite in an uh, inclination of 27 degrees to the equator. And the engines are burning well, reports LCC again. Uh, about uh, 2 minutes 45 seconds into this flight, uh, we'll see the booster engine cut off. And then the jettison booster package uh, will be uh, jettisoned at about uh, 3 seconds later. Everything is looking good. And the vehicle continues to uh, head downrange over the Atlantic Ocean in an easterly direction. We're now uh, 2 minutes into the flight. This was the fourth uh, launch of the Atlas uh, for 1996. There's a total of seven, so we'll see three more going up this year if everything stays on track. And this is the 535th Atlas launch in the program's history. The lifetime of the uh, UHF follow-on F-7 satellite is scheduled to be 14 years with a possibility of two extra years' lifetime on the vehicle, the satellite. And everything reports uh, go from Launch Control Center as the Atlas II is on its way to orbit. This was the 101st mission also for the Atlas Centaur vehicle. Spacecraft arrived here at Cape Canaveral Air Station on May 9th and it was placed atop and we just got Miko. Main engine cutoff has occurred and the booster package has separated from the vehicle. And everything is nominal. So Greg, everything's looking good. Uh, the Atlas II is on its way carrying its uh, package, its UHF follow-on satellite for the Navy. This is Tyler Axon live at Cape Canaveral Air Station with live launch coverage of the Atlas II. The Atlas II lifted off this morning, 8.42 a.m. after about a 15-minute delay. Reporting live from Cape Canaveral Air Station for KSC at the minute at WAMT, I'm Tyler Atkinson. Just a beautiful shot, and thank you, Ty. A beautiful job on the coverage. Just a glorious...